I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is suck. Everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Holes podcast. We're in the car, baby. This is a car <laughs> pod right now. This is uh, I'm Ed McGowan with my co-host <laughs> Josh Ricardo. Edward. <laughs> uh, it doesn't get any more working class holes than this, <laughs> you know. Driving a fucking driving to a gig. Driving to a gig. Like you know what? I got to work Monday. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to do the pod in the car. In the car. And we made it work. And now we're headed to Rhode Island. Uh, okay, I got I got something for you today. All right, what? Um, work happy hour. When you do a work happy hour, and then someone gets drunk and wants to talk politics, <laughs> I had that happen recently where someone got drunk at a work happy hour, and in front of all of the people that they manage. Ugh. They brought up politics. And the funny thing is, it's like, here's what's weird about this day and age, comparatively speaking to other eras that I've worked in offices and people brought up politics. You know, I worked in an office when uh, Bush had a second re-election. Okay. And I was a Howard Stern guy. Oh, shit. I'm going to put my seatbelt on. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So... He was all remember like he hated Bush because of the FCC stuff. Oh right, remember that? So it wasn't like it is with Trump. You could still talk about politics, but I remember I dated a. This is a lot of context, but whatever. I dated a girl in Florida while I was living in San Diego, and the first time I met her family, I did not understand the Democrat Republican hate for one another because I was raised Republican. Oh, okay. So I didn't understand how much being a Democrat pissed off Republicans and vice versa. I knew that was like a thing. Well, here's the thing. When we were younger, it wasn't – people didn't really talk about it like they talk about it. Like in the last – like since like the yes. Gore, uh, Bush thing, mm-hmm. everything got real fucking polarized. Yeah. And then the internet just like really just it, exponentially uh, just kicked it out, right? Yes. And it was funny because that's when – Documentary started getting made. Oh uh, right, yeah, right. So that, who's that? Um, who's that director? So Roger, uh, what's it? Not Roger Moore. It's Michael it? Moore. Michael Moore. Michael Moore. So Michael Moore uh, <laughs> just made me think of that fucking <laughs> Simpsons thing with the <laughs> yeah. Sean Connery. It's a James Bond, uh, oh, yeah. the comic book guy. It's a, Sean, a picture of Sean Connery signed by Roger Moore. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the what Bowling for Columbine just came out. The documentary that had just come out, yeah, okay, just that, come out. That was before the Fahrenheit. Uh, oh no, no, yeah. So there was Fahrenheit. Um, Fahrenheit. He did right after the 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 Bush Gore election, I believe. Yeah. So those I brought up. I, this girl in Florida, she's like, I want you to meet my family, and they were diehard Florida Republicans. Yeah. And I went there to visit her family and meet them and all that. Dude, it's so funny. I was down in Florida at that time. Uh, I was in rehab. Was this like 2004? I was in oh, West, shit. Yeah. I was in West Palm Beach, dude. I was near you. Yeah, yeah. I was and it was I was blown away about how many fucking Bush fans were down there. They dude. were mad. Huge, I huge. that was the first experience I ever had in a Republican like a uh, area where there, everyone was Die hard about and these were drug addicts too, dude. Like just <laughs> drug addicts talking about how much they loved Bush. I was like, wow, this is so crazy. <laughs> and it was my dad was a meth head and he loved Bush. Yeah. I just heard, it, this was like the turnover. I'm like, oh, this is this is where this is where all these Trump people came from. Now I'm thinking about now yeah, yeah, you're yeah, thinking yeah. about it, right? Right. But I go, yeah, I met her dad and I love talking about films and I was an uneducated, uh, politically uneducated. And I was a young man. I, I'm fucking your daughter, dude. Yeah. I'm here to fuck your daughter. Yeah, Let's yeah, just be yeah. honest. I'm here to sleep with your daughter in your house. Uh, I know you put me in a room with one of your, your sons. Political affiliation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, <laughs> so then I, I so we're, we're talking, and I'm being friendly. I get along with the dad. He's an Italian guy. Of course, uh, there's some kind of, sure. you know, you get a little, uh, yeah, a little, yeah. a little back yeah. and forth. Uh, and juice. then I go, man, I really love this documentary by, you know, Michael Moore. Right. So you, you follow that? His whole energy yeah, changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't get it. Oh, the that's daughter so, yeah. ran, The daughter must have heard it because she ran in the kitchen. And she's like, Dad, he's not up. He's not into politics, Dad. He's not into politics. He's just he likes he likes movies, Dad. Like she just kept making excuses for me. Oh wow. And it didn't hit me until later, like, oh, that's a real yeah. thing. 
And then I'm at this happy hour not too long ago, and this it was one it was the part where like the happy hour is ending, <laughs> but there's always someone that says let's do one more. Yeah, yeah, and when yeah. they're a superior, oh, you uh-huh. know it was like a higher up person. Yeah. So yeah. we're like okay, everyone wants to network with a higher up person. Right. So it was me and like three uh, female employees. Everyone outranks me in this in this scene, and this guy's talking to me. Ed and I were in the car just now, and I brought this up, but people see me, and they if they know I'm a comedian, like most people in jobs I work typically do know I'm a, I'm a comedian as well, so they feel, you know, like they have freedom to speak to me, like in a way that they wouldn't speak to a normal human, and also because of my nose. Like I told Ed, you know, I got to get a nose job because everyone thinks I'm voting for Trump with this nose, and they want to talk to me about it, and this guy just starts, he's looking directly at me, and he, he has definitely had probably one more than he would like to have, and yeah. his truth just started coming out. And it always starts with something small. I think the conversation was like... It's like a test. It's a... Sm- There's a, a little, like, litmus test yes. that, gets, that gets thrown out there. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It started with something small, like, I don't remember exactly, but let's just call it, like, uh, one of the, the buzzwords of... What's one of the buzzwords of the election? Like... Kamala can't do something, uh, whatever. Yeah, like know. each, like everyone, everyone has know, a thing they say about I'll say Trump. This. And 2016 had so many better buzzwords. You know, like so lock her up. Oh, yeah, mean, yeah, You know, yeah. like I'm not a Trump guy, but man, that was there pretty was good. good. Yeah, there that was, was some pretty good. good. He had some good stuff. <laughs> he's he's getting old, man. He's not really. He doesn't have the hits no. anymore. I mean, I guess she's got some some hits. I haven't really been following it though. No, so anyway, no. so so he, it, it, he drops it, a little. But that's what's funny about these things is like, the minute someone thinks they have. Like an inch of daylight. It's like Walter Payton. <laughs> All I need is six inches of daylight, baby. <laughs> Once he had it, he just ran with it. Oh, and it was man. funny because I'm looking around the group, right? And the women's faces are starting to change as he's talking. And then I'm playing devil's advocate, and I, I throw in I love Obama, and I watch this guy's head almost explode. Oh, that's There's nothing great. worse than telling a white Republican dude that you loved Obama. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and I love Obama because he's Hawaiian. I don't love Obama because he's black. <laughs> <laughs> This guy had the audacity to tell me that Obama comes from an elite family. I'm like, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> Comparatively speaking, there's nothing elite by anything about that guy and his upbringing. So me and this guy are having this, not an argument, but we're definitely having a, a response conversation. Yeah, hashing things. out a little bit. Yeah. And literally, I've never seen a group of people leave in unison. But it was like they... That's- yeah. It was like a, a synchronized swimming team. They all got up, grabbed their book bags, and walked out at the same time and left me alone with this guy. So now I'm going at it with this guy. It's far as me and him. I like my favorite part of that story is when at the beginning when you go, and everybody there is like my superior. <laughs> Well, yeah, we do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm the lowest man on the payroll totem pole there. <laughs> Fuck, dude. And, of course, I'm stuck with this guy. Yeah, now I got to walk him to his car. Uh, dude, walk him to his car. I, I, you know, I, I get thrown. I, there's something about Were you me. trying to win? You were trying no, to no, win? No, 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 no. He was, he was not saying anything that was of value to have a, a full-on debate with. Right. It just started to become about, I like this guy. It's, and that's what's funny. It was like, it was not about any of his policies. It was right. not about anything to do with, it's just, I just like I him. Like him. Which, I like, he said, like, at one point, I like, he said, grab him by the pussy. Uh, that's and just like, why to are me, we? Why to are, me, that's the, that's like the crazier part about it is because, like, you know, a lot of his stuff is you know just republican policy yeah you know what i mean yeah but he's such an asshole yeah and i and they, i that's think that's like i'm like dude I, I couldn't vote for somebody that's such an asshole it just really breaks down for me the reality like, of like like <laughs> him as a guy <laughs> it just Ugh, why do you, you imagine hanging he's out just a Trump. breath of fresh air, a breath of fresh air <laughs> are we watching the same shit like i'm not oh, even saying man. i would i would like kamala harris i don't yeah i don't yeah <laughs> but to, to to put your horse and all of your uh, love and affection and money and your political cachet behind because he like he liked this guy <laughs> what is likable I mean I'm trying to think now like if you're at this is uh, this is the election I guess when this comes out the election will be uh, it had just had happened it had just happened so I guess what's interesting is, if you were, remember that thing they they did it during like John Kerry and George Bush, they were like, who would you rather have a beer with? 
Oh, it was uh, Al Gore and George Bush. Was it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, that's what I remember. remember I dated that? a girl who was a Republican. Another one. I dated a lot of Republican women. Not now. Mm-hmm. My wife's very liberal. But uh, at the time, I was dating a uh, when Obama won. Uh, beat McCain. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said a lot. Of, they were so mad that McCain didn't bury Obama in a way they thought he should have. Basically, how Trump buries everyone, like just says, uh, just like lies about him and right, says all kinds right, of awful right, right, shit right. about him. Like McCain was a straight up. I actually really liked John McCain. Oh yeah, I yeah. really liked him. Yeah, I thought yeah, he was yeah. a really yeah, savvy yeah. politician. Uh-huh. Uh, I really liked what he stood for. The guy fucking was a goddamn Dude, POW. Fucking POW. He's a badass. Yeah, yeah. For I sure. love that guy. Yeah, and yeah, for yeah. his, that's a, that's the thing that turned me off to Trump. I was open to Trump in the beginning. Oh yeah, I, I voted for Hillary Clinton because I thought that she was ruthless. I was like, if anyone's gonna be ruthless, she is ruthless. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. like that about her. He struck me I, the very first thing I was like, this guy's a clown, uh, Trump. That that was my very first impression. And then I was just like, oh, he's. But just the awful McCain person. thing, because I was like, oh, he's doing a work. He's doing a bit. Okay, he has a gimmick going. It's working. Mm-hmm. Cool. Mm-hmm. But when he said that shit about McCain. Yeah, I was out. Right. I was like, dude, For I'm sure. out. How, yeah, that was fucked up. This is up. a rich kid who dodged a draft. Yeah, he's totally. like every kid now that's fucking starting comedy is a Donald Trump Jr. Yeah, it's like right. I, I, I can't I do it. Forgot about that. Shit. When he talked yeah. shit about McCain, I was out. I'm like, yeah. dude, you can't talk shit about McCain. I'm sorry, yeah. the guy has too much skin in the game. Uh, but I remember I was dating a girl, and that's what she said about Bush. It was like, isn't just a guy you want to have a beer with? Like, how are you? Do you have any thoughts of your own on this person? That's what's Same so thing biz- with Kamala Harris. Do you have any thoughts of your own? That's what's so bizarre with me. I don't know that I would. I don't know that there's a politician alive that I want to have a beer with. Lincoln, because I think it would be fucking fascinating. Well, yeah, just from a historical point of view. But like people that are alive. I mean, here's. I go to like some Kennedy because pop- you know he has some pussy there. This is the thing. If, he, <laughs> if I know I'm gonna get laid. <laughs> I'm having a drink all day with Kennedy. Yeah, that and would be And his co- fucking dad who made all the money off Prohibition. Would, yeah, he probably had be, the good shit. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just to see, like, just what kind of women are hanging around oh, God, Kennedy. Are you kidding me? Dude. There must Yeah, right? His, uh... Man, I'm trying to grab this water. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's driving as well. <laughs> so, I remember thinking, like... What, so I asked her. I remember we were... In, it's funny. We were in bed watching Obama give his acceptance speech. And you were that girl. Yeah, the girl I was dating at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when she was like, you're so stupid for voting for him. And I thought she just almost started crying. She was so mad that I had voted for him. Yeah. And I'm like, what is the problem here? It's yeah. politics. It's just, it's politics. Like, what do you mean? Like, there is no rhyme or reason to this shit beyond, like, what we're able to see. And we're seeing a fraction of... Of what's going on all you have to go off of is what you think someone's policies will end up being and i voted strictly like everyone else voted i voted because i thought the guy talking one he had a connection to me it's just like if there was a if there was an italian republican nominee right now it'd be really hard for cuomo, me not to would vote. you vote for uh cuomo the, uh, nah, cause he's, 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 to me he's a wonder bread wop oh, he's what okay. we call the man ah, okay. i want a guy who's like knows how to make the sauce kind uh-huh. of guy he has to be i vote for that guy now what about, it would be hard not to vote for a Republican Italian right now. What about in. the one that was uh, lying about everything? <laughs> <laughs> what was that guy the guy name? who does cameo now? <laughs> does he? Yeah, 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 right. He was like a drag queen or something <laughs> like that. But he was, <laughs> I man, I'll tell you. I'd like, love to have a beer with him. Uh, <laughs> I'd have a Cosmo with that I, guy. <laughs> I would totally have a beer with that guy. What the fuck was his name? That, yeah. I totally forgot his name. Yeah. Isn't it crazy how fast the news yeah. cycle is now? He just got kicked out of everything. Oh, right? he's, I think he's also going to under indictment. Oh, is he? For all the lying he did to get in office. Oh, right, because he, he lied about his res. Everything's a lie. He was like stealing campaign money too. Oh yeah, he's yeah. he's like that uh, that gay dude that laundered money to fucking just go to P Town. <laughs> he did all that just to get the best cabin at P Town. Like you ever hear about the story? Like I have a lot of gay friends, and we always talk about P Town. P Town is like a what's pl- P Town? P Town is if all of P Diddy's parties were consensual in fucking Provincetown. <laughs> Provincetown, uh-huh. is it Provincetown, Rhode Island, or Provincetown, Massachusetts? Anyways, it's basically the whole summer, it's fuck fest for the gays. Oh, okay. P-Town is like when people, like when straight people say, I'm going to Vegas, but oh, it's okay. times 10. P-Town, okay. P-Town. But I've known guys that are, because you people don't realize this, but gay dudes are on another level of keeping up with the Joneses with each other. Oh, yeah, I know yeah, gay dudes that sure. are in hundreds of thousands of dollars in credit card debt yeah, yeah, yeah. because they are booking insane trips, 
they're, they're going to P-Town and spending tons of money. It's party central. Yeah. I mean, and I've known guys that, like, have gotten in trouble for having, like, high-end jobs because everything's about image in the gay community. Mm-hmm. Like, you got to have the perfect kind of job. Mm-hmm. you got to have the perfect abs. Like, they are fucking ruthless. And oh, I know guys, sure. and sure. that guy is, like, one of those dudes that did all that shit to have the clout, the gay clout. <laughs> he did it all for the fucking clout. That's so funny, dude. I don't, to me, like, spending money like that is so crazy. I can't even do it. Oh, I'm I, such I, a... F- dude, I, I spend like a gay guy. You do? Oh, yeah, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. I spend money like an asshole. Not yeah. so much anymore, but... What was, uh... I you, There was a picture of... <laughs> I guess maybe it was your kid in a Halloween costume or something like that, or maybe it was the dog in uh, your bedroom. And I saw all I saw a peak of all those shoes under your bed. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Jesus Christ! Yeah, oh dude, my I got, god! I, I, so <laughs> when I before I got my my addictions like a hold of them to a certain uh, yeah, degree, yeah, yeah. my so I do this thing where it was like when my sex addiction, I was trying to curb it, but I hadn't reached the mental stability through my therapy to process and unpack and then move forward Mm -hmm. you know there's all these i mean you know this through rehab there's all these steps to beat addiction and the triggers right and understanding the triggers Uh oh uh and how to compensate for those triggers right Uh like i remember reading this book uh see that's the thing about like sex addiction like eating addiction like shopping addiction they're all things that you still need to do yeah we've talked about this you know what I mean? right like, yeah the thing about like alcohol and drugs is like dude just stay out of fucking bars yeah and don't yeah, yeah stay away from people to do drugs you know what i mean it's like yes. you can you can remove it like entirely yeah where like people that have like food addiction i mean what are you gonna do you know, fucking not eat like yeah, how do yeah, you yeah, yeah. how do you fucking yeah yeah yeah, yeah. for so that's the thing about because i also have a food addiction oh do you yeah, I mean, I don't get, like, you know, if I, like, for example, three weeks ago, mm-hmm. my wife bought a bunch of Halloween candy, mm-hmm. and we hid it in the office closet Okay. from my kid. I mean, we're talking, like, two pounds of candy. Uh-huh. I ate it all in, like, a week, less than a week. Okay. And then that I- sparked my brain to keep eating other things. Oh. So I put on eight pounds in a week, week Whoa. and a half. Bro. Eight and, pounds? I, and I lost it all in the last week and a half. So I, if I don't watch, if I don't watch what's going on with me, like when I'm in getting you, depressed or anything, you know what's, you know what's so funny? I don't have a scale in my apartment. I can't even tell you probably how many times that's happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I haven't weighed myself in four years. Well, so I, <laughs> so I make, I used to like hide and not weigh myself because I could feel I was fat. Uh huh. Now when I know it's like getting out of it, I make myself feel yeah, on the scale. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, all right. Because if I see the number, then I'll stop. Uh-huh. That makes me stop. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't have all those capabilities right. before. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when I was going through like this, like say I was on a sex addiction run and I was trying to curb that, I'd fall into one other addiction. Yeah, you start So then it would instead. go into yeah. spending. Yeah, yeah. And I'm talking not just spending. I mean, we're talking like a, a $2,000 a month on something asinine. Yeah. Like things that are like, so, you yeah, know, the new Jordans that I really don't want, but let's just see if I can get them because yeah. it would get exciting. Because with Jordans, if you get them when they drop, you feel like you won something. Oh, okay. That's how they keep you coming back. Oh, wow. Because then if you have to get them on a consignment or you have to get them on a rebuy site, the shit shoots up like 20%. Uh, okay. So if you can get them at the, the, the sticker value, you think you want something. So do you ever flip? Do you ever like uh, like sell like, them? Yeah, like turn it turn no. it into like a I'm profit a, dude, situation. I'm a poor kid, so they're like my cars. Uh, okay. So I keep them in the garage, like mm-hmm. Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's my little that's my hanger sp- I have. Underneath. I don't spend my speak <laughs> my sneaker money. I don't. I I just live off of my comedy, but I don't my spend any money. of the sneaker money. The Tonight Show money is off. <laughs> That's how low life I am. That's about as far. As, that's the only. That's and that's what's funny about like lower working class people. We talked about Jordans before. It is a. That's the only bragging right you have when you have no money. Is your plus? I used to have holes in my shoes. So oh. It's like a whole thing. Yeah, but spe- yeah. oh, my spending addiction. Dude, it used I to be a very problematic. One of the thing. very first things I thought was like fancy 
um, was I got a Swatch watch when I was oh, a kid. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and oh, I was yeah. like, Psh. Trapper keep. I never got a real trapper keeper. Always had like the fucking oh, broke yeah, never one, had a real the ghetto trapper one. Keeper. Yeah, never had a real trapper keeper. Never had the good lunch. I mean, all those things. And that's what I, I know. I say it on the show all the time. But like, dude, money, money comes for the. You can make the money from the shame. <laughs> if you shame people enough, they'll they'll. If you shame me enough about being poor. Oh. I will spend money to not look poor oh. and look more poor. Yeah, There's yeah. a reason why someone bought that stupid. You know how many people bought that fucking Chevy that came out that looked like a fa- the the uh, Rolls Royce Phantom? Oh no, I didn't even there know was about a, that. There was a I forgot the name of it, but Chevy made a a car look just like that, <laughs> and people tried to fool you. I saw a guy try to primer one to make it look like a fucking Rolls Royce. I, unbelievable. Wow. Do you remember when uh, the, the Apple Watch first came out? And yeah, they, and they I'm did. have one now. Another but, one of my spending addictions. And they did. Uh, well, I mean, I it's use like a all phone. that now. Yeah, it's a write off. Now yeah. that I have a business, <clears throat> yeah, a lot of stuff I understand now are write offs. It's got a utility. Off. I mean, an Apple Watch got a utility. But when it first came out, they did a like a twenty thousand dollar one too. Oh, and I it had didn't like know a that. gold. Oh yeah, yeah, I do remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And the pe- band was twenty grand basically. Uh, and the whole yeah, but like to buy Diamond it. Diamond encrusted. Yeah, yeah, something like that. But like the um, the. Watch guys were like, "This is such a fucking scam." Because oh, yeah. here's the thing, like a a twenty thousand dollar watch, like a Rolex, it's a submarine Rolex. You can get that. It will be. It will last forever. Yes. Like they're made that well that they'll last forever. This is a fucking microchip <laughs> on a fucking <laughs> A four chip <laughs> and a goddamn piece of plastic. Yeah. <laughs> With gorilla glass this on the front. Is, this, is gonna, <laughs> this is gonna last for like two years. Well, because technically. I'm a watch guy, uh-huh. and I used that was one of my spending addictions was watches. But I would buy like Michael Kors and Belova two hundred dollar like watches. Oh, okay. Which they're fine looking products, but uh-huh. by no means are they a Rolex. Right. So I was like, dude, why are you save all your money and just buy a Rolex? You can get Do you a, have vin- a Rolex. Not yet. But I want that's my. <laughs> like that you said yet. <laughs> the dude, fact that you my, said yet. I am. Uh. I will have a Rolex. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> it is on the as, top of the priority list. Let's say, get out of my debt. <laughs> we're driving in a Honda with two microphones plugged into a Zoom recorder. It don't matter. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, baby. <laughs> Court this on you an know, iPhone. You'll all Not know yet. when it fucking comes about. But technically, I'm wearing a $600 watch. I got the Apple Watch. That's a $700 piece of machinery around your wrist. Yeah, but it's like but a it's computer. But it's not a Rolex. It's a computer, though. Exactly. Like, that's, I mean, it's a, uh, you know, it's a phone. It's yeah, a it's all tech. those things. It's all yeah, that it's stuff. Tech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I love accessories. I love them. That's yeah. what I spend my money on. No, I don't. Uh, you have like necklaces and stuff like that. No, I'm too. I'm too. Look at my nose, man. I can't wear any kind of jewelry. <laughs> I can't wear a pinky ring. I mean, it just jumps into a whole other stereotype. <laughs> it just all of a sudden, yeah, you're like you got to. You're all, all of a sudden in sanitation somehow. <laughs> so, <Yeah>. I, <laughs> so my I put, a, put a gold chain on. Automatically, you're you're involved in sanitation now. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, so so. Uh, what are you with? County or uh, <laughs> somebody walks up and hands you an envelope. <laughs> it's light, <laughs> and right away I know it's light. Yo, did I ever tell you about? So when I first moved to Brooklyn, I come up from uh, from South Philly, and I moved to Brooklyn, and there's a guy. I'm moving into the shithole uh, thing in Old Williamsburg. <laughs> oh, is that the one that was underground? That apartment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm moving in the day, and the, the guy next door. There's a bicycle shop on the corner. And mm-hmm. the guy running it, he's got like this old school Brooklyn kind of vibe. Yeah. And he goes, uh, "Hey, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the neighborhood. My name's Morty. Kind of run things around here." Oh, and I do like, remember. Yeah, 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 I, I told you before. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told you before. Oh, yeah. dude. Well, no, no, not the full story. But I remember Morty because I remember one time you tried to ask him what happened. <laughs> he told you to mind your business. <laughs> Oh no no no! Oh, those, those different guys. Those were the Italian guys outside of the uh, outside of the fucking okay. Fortunato brothers. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but so like Morty, uh, the fucking it's his bike shop. So I'm out one night and I'm like you know drug addict and I buy, I trade this crackhead like two Heinekens for a bike. <laughs> so like a like, Schwinn. Yeah, I don't or know. Whatever. It's like it was a mountain a bike, bike. Okay. and uh, it had no brakes. So the next day I go in 
to Morty's shop, his bike shop, and I go, hey, so I got this bike last night. I, I want to get it fixed up. And Morty's behind the counter just reading the paper, and he goes, ah, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? What? <laughs> what do you mean? And I look around, and like this bike shop, there's two inches of <laughs> dust on like that, an old huffy. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's like nothing has been. And just as I'm in there, kind of like figuring this out, this old guy shovels in and puts an envelope on the counter. There and you Morty, go. And Morty puts it under his newspaper. I was like, oh, oh there we oh, go. Oh, dude. There we go. This is legit. Yeah. 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 It's funny, you know, when uh, now that I know, like now that I've been around a while, and I've known some of the boys. I walk in anywhere, and I already know, like, oh, okay, I know what this is. Yeah, I already know what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I would see him and his son like unloading trucks. They had like a storage spot across the street, <laughs> middle of the night. Oh yeah, unloading TVs. Yeah, that, that's not. That's not a. Yeah, I was like, ah, legitimate. Dude, this is great. <laughs> A fucking Morty, if yeah. I ever need, it goes, eh. and then it's all like playing back to me. I don't eh. know, I don't know where to, I wouldn't even know where to start. <laughs> it's like, eh, you ever need anything? I run things around here. Yeah, <laughs> Except like, oh. this bikes <laughs> that I had. This bikes, I, I had a fucking. My grandfather died, and he had this giant cross with the. He got the cross from the Vatican when he went to Italy. Oh he had wow! A giant gold chain. Uh huh. And uh, the you know the the horn to ward off the maloika was or was there, right? Okay. And I got you know, my dad's like here, your grandfather. I would love for you to have this, and he really didn't have any. But that's a method. <laughs> really didn't have the, the authority to give it to me. <laughs> the estate people called me like, we just want to make sure Joe gave you that. I'm like, yeah, he did. He <laughs> I got it. Here's the picture of it. I do have it. Because ah. <laughs> they're just like inventory, and he's just yeah. giving shit away, or taking shit. I don't know what. He's selling it. Yeah. Yeah. So, I remember my wife. I was really thinking, you know, I was gonna bring it back like six months ago. I thought, you know what? Maybe I look all right in this gold chain. I don't know why. I I know I don't, but I keep bringing it. it keeps, every three years, I keep thinking I could pull it off, and I put it on, and I ha you could see it in the shirt I was wearing, like. I said, hey, hon, how does this look? And you would think, she's like, you got to take that off. <laughs> like, that is, you, you're a stereotype. There's no way you should be wearing gold ever. Don't wear gold ever. Uh, it's so good. Your face does not, it doesn't fit. It's over. You need to move. Like, we would need to move Dude, to Brooklyn. It's so funny when you do something different and you you see that look in your wife's yeah. eyes. Like, I, I did a... Uh, <laughs> She, I'm she, glad I have that, but sometimes it's so frustrating. You're like, I just wanted to enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to wear it out one time and figure it out the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> I had a goatee uh, when I met Gina, and I had this goatee for, I don't know, eight years. I'm trying to envision you as a Who did just, you look like? Just a goatee. I looked like uh, Kenny Powers. <laughs> <laughs> like when, when Eastbound and Down came out, everybody was like, yo, dude. <laughs> How'd you get on this TV show? <laughs> I look like Did straight you have up. a mullet too? Dude, straight up like Kenny Powers, bro. I'll show you pictures, man. 100%. In the, we were always Dude, in for content. I, we never I was, post this shit. And I was always like, kind of doing like, in pictures, I was always like, <laughs> straight up. it take more than a goddamn speaking spell to charm the likes of Kenny Powers. <laughs> but so now, I'm like getting tired of this goatee. We're go um, I decide to shave it off. And I don't mention it to Gina in any way. Also, we're leaving for a vacation. So she fell in love with you via goatee. She's only ever seen me with a goatee. Okay. That's a huge move. Huge move. And I didn't even think to tell her that I was even thinking about it or to do it. And I shave it off. She comes home and shocked, like shocked. And then we get on an airplane and go to Mexico the next day. It's three days into vacation, and I realize she hasn't made eye contact with me. <laughs> I love how it took you three days. I mean, you're colorblind. You're not fucking blind. Can you imagine a woman you're in love with not looking at you for three days, and you not noticing until the third day? Your head's so far up your ass. And I bet she's so pissed you haven't noticed that she's not giving you the proper attention no it's that she was averting she was just like we were having conversations and stuff like that but like <laughs> just never making direct eye contact because every time she looked at me i looked like a different person <laughs> it's not the man i fell in love with you know what's so shitty about that too imagine she cuts her hair or does something different and you say you don't like it you're an asshole we can't ever do that when they want to do something with their look we just got to eat it 
Oh, I'm all uh, I'm all in on like new. Here's the thing. I like it too. I will. I, I don't need. Per, I don't want to give you permission to do anything. You, you're Shh. free. This is the, what's different. I, I think you know, not to make like sweeping generalizations, but difference between guys and girls. Like, if my wife came home with like a whole new haircut, I'm like, that's like a new, it's like a new woman. <laughs> She looks at me I like so, I, love how I don't simple minded you are yeah, sometimes. Yeah. You're a super like, complicated <laughs> dude about a lot of shit, but you're just so simple minded about like food and <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Totally. I use my left hand to jack off instead of my right. It's a different hand, a different girl. Feeling fresh. Feeling fresh. I mean, I bet like if you if she if someone was into wearing wigs for you, you would be all about it. The wigs. Yeah. See, I never got into wigs. I mean, I've never had it. I I feel like I would probably be into it. Yeah. I had a girl once do like wigs. It fucked me up. It fucked me up. I didn't like it. Oh, see, because yeah. the wig moves. Well, you, oh, well, <laughs> like you wear the tra- oh, That's <laughs> like weird. You feel yeah. like yeah, that's you, know, you grab someone's hand yeah, when they're blowing you, and the that, wig moves. That's weird. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if a wig moved, that would that would throw me off. Fucking wig moves. There's a little crooked. <laughs> it's all you're banging her. It's all like because <laughs> then you're like you know they're not bald and you know they're the person you love, but it, for a hot second your brain's like, this is not the <laughs> this is something. F- Fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something's wrong. I dated a girl with alopecia. That's uh, hot. She was beautiful too. And uh, but it was weird. One night I was out. So hair, they're hairless everywhere. She was pure. No eyebrows. No, no nothing. nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and um, I'm out one night having drinks with my buddy who I hadn't seen in a while, and he's bald. He's totally bald. Surfer dude. And then. I'm hanging out with him all night. We're drinking. I go you home. Your girl. To go ha- have, s- and I'm having sex with my girl, doggy style. And I was just like, hey, can we flip over? <laughs> hey, can we just, can I just look at your face? I just need to look at your face. Dude, if I was alopecia chick, I would fucking paint like, before we fuck, but do doggy style, I would paint like eyes and shit on the back of my head. <laughs> I once uh, went home with a, a dan- a exotic dancer lady. I was probably 22. Mm-hmm. And she didn't necessarily look like my mom, <laughs> but she sounded like my mom. Oh, wow. And she was, this woman was sm- very beautiful. Oh, that's... Very sexy. Uh... I couldn't wait to just like, you know, you meet someone and you're just so attracted. I just could not wait to just <laughs> dive into her, right? Right. And I could not get it up. No. Oh man, she started calling, like, speaking sweetly to me, and it just uh, sounded like my dude. mom. Dude, oh man, ruined it. And I tried, and then I went back two more times because that's how hot she was. Right. I went back two more and times. Like it's in my head. It's not real. It's not her. I just need to not. I need to hear it yes. differently. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I, I did all these it. mental exercises the last time yeah, I went. Yeah, yeah right. I, I was can, like, let's get ready I for get, the big game. I can get through this. <laughs> And every time I was th- the reason why she kept inviting me back is because I felt so badly that I, you know, when you're 22, yeah, you feel so badly you can't get it up. You're oh. so embarrassed. I just spent so an hour pleasing her with my mouth. So she was like, with, sure, come on back. But with, with earplugs in. <laughs> I know, right? Don't say a fucking word. All right. <laughs> it's like the shit my dad would wear when you'd unload planes. <laughs> you ah. giant. <laughs> <laughs> there was a girl I worked with, alopecia, who had a banging body, and I just there was something about I don't want to fetishize her, but there was something interesting about how sexy I found her and how different she looked. I sure. love that she was so yeah. different. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, she was very this. I mean, she was beautiful, and like we had, you know, it was fun. Uh, the uh, but yeah, it was it was kind of cool. <laughs> but yeah, that night I was like drunk and I was like, "Hey, I, I, all the like I hear Craig's voice." And I'm like, "Hey, right, right, you know what? Let's flip over this. I gotta see your beautiful hairless face." <laughs> Isn't it funny though? Like I, some little like, uh, they're not birth defects. They're differences, right? Sure. 
you can find attractive, but other ones you can't. Like I remember a girl, she had no arm, like no, like a small arm. Uh-huh. I love that. I thought she, she was so hot. I thought that was kind of cool. It's. I, I, I would say this. I think it's how the person carries themselves. Yes. But like, if you it, have a lazy eye, I'm out. I can't do a lazy eye. Oh, I can eye. do it. Like, I, can I can't do, it. do a snaggle tooth. I can do. I can do all of that as long as it's not like um, something that, like, if she's cool with it and doesn't, I'm like, all right, yeah, I don't care. You know what I mean? I I, I think so. I mean, I'm. I don't know that. I think I'm more grown up now than I've ever been. Anything so you I'm just sure I named could. didn't seem to bother me. I'm trying to think what would bother me. Well, hygiene's always going to bother me. If it's bad hygiene, it's out. But well, you're, yeah, we're that's, talking not about just, birth, that's, that's not a birth defect. It's not a birth defect. Right, right, right. I guess teeth would be... Teeth is hard for me. Missing teeth, which isn't a birth defect. You know, missing teeth says something about how you how you are, right. though. That's it's, a personality thing. It's got like thing. a cracky kind of methy kind of thing. It's same thing with overweight. If you're overweight, I know you mm-hmm. hate yourself because I've hated myself for a long time. I still mm-hmm. do. Mm-hmm. And I know what addiction is. And you have a food addiction. And yeah, I know... the weight thing doesn't bother me that much. The teeth would probably... That would probably throw me off. Um, but how bad a teeth? Like, so you're saying just missing ones. What about really crooked ones? Really crooked like, ones? Like, I'm ta- I used I to have... Know, my like teeth sharp. used to be rows of teeth, like a shark it, I used yeah, to have. It, yeah, and, like, sometimes people are, like, they're, like, sharp. They're, like, jagged. Yeah, and then they, yeah. they can't get... They can't that's brush tough. them right. Yeah, that's tough. That would probably... Discoloration be. of the teeth I can't do. Discoloration, I can handle. I, well, you I of all smoke. people. Yeah, need, need, I got all my teeth are all fucked yeah, up. Yeah, you can't. You really don't have a leg to stand on in that department. No, yeah. Uh, what about uh, feet? Like a big foot. So I saw somebody this had like a big beautiful foot. Beautiful woman recently. I, I, <laughs> big I, foot. No, that well, big foot's uh, another. We'll go to that one. But I, I'm talking. I would be all right with that. Like a big old like diabetes it wasn't, foot. It wasn't. <laughs> Like one of those, <laughs> just one giant. Just foot. one of those big foot. Elephant, yeah. Could you do elephantitis of the foot? I get. Uh, you ever seen elephantitis? No. Dude, here's it's the thing. a giant so, foot. So I have a th- no. I've seen that. Oh, I've seen okay. those homeless guys like that. Um, it's kind of hot. Now. It's kind of hot to you. Uh, <laughs> um, I have a thing though. Here's a weird thing that I have, and it really like just even talking about. It Excuse me. It's called uh, tryptophobia, and it's What's like that? um like a grouping of holes. Like a hive kind of thing. Oh. Yeah. It, well, anytime I see kind of like, and people are like, well, I don't know, like it's it like it evokes some kind of weird. Uh, I get like, uh, like uh, even just picturing stuff now. Like if, <clears throat> like there's pictures that I've seen, and it's just of holes, on a, holes, uh, just on the land, on uh, you know, not even necessarily on a human body. You know what I mean? That's like, the weirdest thing I've ever heard. You're it's saying tryptophobia, you, it's called. Yeah. So you, that's what you have. That's what you're saying. Scared I of have holes. That. It's a fear of like group of holes kind of thing. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. We'll look it up. I will have to look it up. Could I get you out of the draft? Like, <laughs> I got a tryptophobia. <laughs> I got many groups of holes. <laughs> I can't see it. I get it. Yeah, get when little, I watch Looney Tunes and Bugs puts all those holes around, I, I can't. Little, I get a little queasy. Yeah. <laughs> so all... what I'm saying is I saw this really attractive woman uh-huh. recently. And, you know, it's still hot and it's fall. You know, mm-hmm. it, so she was wearing, I'm going to give her a cut or a break. You know, it is hot. It's supposed to be probably cooler. So people don't have certain things prepped that they should. But she wore open toe, open back shoes. Okay. And her feet. I'm not even a foot guy. Right. I've never seen a woman, or anyone for that matter, that put so much effort in their upkeep from the foot up, ignore their feet in a way that it, it was like wow. her foot was made of granite. Yeah, right. And it was crackling. Yeah. And, I mean, I, the I kind of that. foot where it probably burns when she puts her foot in soap or like uh, like alcohol, like yeah, rubbing it's all, alcohol. It's, it's all, all cracks. Up. Yeah. And I was thinking, man, you got it. One, it must hurt. Two, how do you not take care of that? If you're gonna wear shoes like that, that's that's the weirdest thing about it. Like you would think and she, she would was just... pristine. It wasn't like she was like I don't really give a shit person. I could see if it was like like a hippie girl who just oh right. you know I don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but right. it was a very like it was a business professional person. Maybe it's something that just happened. Oh, or maybe she just had got a, like a scrub, a little like no, uh, no, no, no. It was it, it was a what definitely um, no upkeep. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It was a limited upkeep situation. So no, the nails weren't painted or anything like that. I mean. You just saw when the back of it? I just saw the back. Yeah. Like the whole side of the foot. Oh, wow. It was it's all, all up and down. Dude, it's probably, women probably, there's probably a lot of women that have bad feet like that because they wear crazy fucking heels. Well, yeah, like my wife's a former, like, uh, ballerina? Yeah, so her feet are all, uh, all jacked, jacked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm glad I'm not into feet. No, yeah. I'm really glad. I guess, what, what is I guess that I new was, feet thing, too? People I was, love feet now. I was the internet. I mean, it's it just, is the internet, yeah, it's right? Really, it's just it's just access. Uh, I was with a girl who was kind of into feet, and it kind of was exciting that she was so excited by it. Does that make sense? Yes. Like I was like, oh, okay. I, you're I'm really, like, you're really into this. I'm a very that's, open partner. That, if yeah, you're excited like, about a fetish, I was like, oh, that's cool. All right, I can, but I don't care. Yeah. It's not doing anything. I Your like, excitement <laughs> is doing something for me, but not the the actual. I had someone suck on my feet, and it made me feel bad. My feet aren't great either. I'm a former athlete. I have so many calluses. <laughs> you know, I play a little, you know, college ball. <laughs> I was wondering, we're in the car pod. Is it gonna is it gonna get brought up? I always fit it in, baby. Nice. But when she was sucking on my feet, I remember thinking that big because I have a the big toe callus is substantial. Oh, okay. My big toe callus on the side, it uh-huh. is very much built up. And I remember thinking, man, there's no way that's not gonna scratch the roof of her mouth. Oh. Ew. But she was she was into it. Oh yeah. As long as her, if people are into it, I, I'm I'm ready. Yeah. But I wouldn't have got a, a pedicure for her. I wouldn't have. Because I take care of my feet. I use a pumice stone on them. Do you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this pod is going off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me at Josh Ricardo and go to joshricardo.com to see all our tour dates. We have so many tour dates coming up in November and in December uh, all throughout the tri-state area. So please come out to one of those shows. We'd love to see you. Go to Epic Gallon Comedy on Instagram to see my stuff, and then uh, email us. If you have any car tips, uh, <laughs> I feel like I need to get my oil changed. Uh, email me. Email us at Working Class. Are you into feet? Yeah, feet. Are you, do you have alopecia? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Send email. a photo to Working Class. Whole community is at gmail.com. <laughs> see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.